we had no rain in Tuscaloosa tonight, it allows us to tell you this amazing story of perseverance. Nine months ago, a baseball player at Hewitt Trussell High School suffered a traumatic injury when he uh, was on a golf course and a tree fell on him. Yes, his name is Grayson Pope, and he is on the road to recovery. And tonight he was honored at the University of Alabama baseball game. You just saw him there doing that first pitch. Taylor Pollock was there. She joins us live now with what this means for this family, Taylor. Right, I gotta say it was incredible watching Grayson make that first pitch, knowing that this is something he's worked really hard for for a really long time just to be able to do. And he hopes tonight that his story inspires others. To see him out on the field is gonna mean a lot to me, uh, but to him it's gonna mean the world. For some, it was simply the first pitch at a baseball game. But for Trustville teen Grayson Pope and his family, it means a lot more. Being here today and having him being able to throw that first pitch after nine months ago, the biggest thing being him moving his thumb, like it just means the world. A freak accident left Pope in a coma for more than 40 days. But the teen says it was baseball and his faith that made him bound and determined to get back on the mound. I always had faith in God that he would give me back somewhere close. I wasn't sure exactly where, but I thought that I would get very close. He, he, is, he can walk, he can talk, he's starting to jog. Um, he is in school, he has all A's. It's progress his family calls a miracle. You know, we're here today, but we still have a long ways to go. Um, and Grayson, with his attitude and his work ethic, what he does every day, um, you know, not a lot of people could do that. He makes a commitment, chooses every day to get better. Grayson's family says his story has inspired them, and they hope tonight it will inspire others as well. I just changed my major because of him, and now I'm going into OT, and so I hope people can look at him tonight and see that even in your lowest moments, there's always something that can come from it, and God can take the hardest things and turn it into something so beautiful. And Grayson tells me his ultimate goal is to get back to 100% relearning how to drive, which is understandable for the teen, and eventually get back to playing baseball full time. At the University of Alabama, Taylor Pollock, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side.